left on the docket. One more drink with Ludacris featuring T-Pain. This video is charged with excessive use of alcohol and auto-tune. I know. That ain't even the worst part. The jury will note that Ludacris <laughs> believes that big girls need love too. And his personal motto is, more cushion for the pushing. All right, now we got Ludacris featuring T-Pain. Luda! One more drink. Make that two. Call it in the order. So we start off at a Drinkers and Daters anonymous meeting. And apparently Luda has been, you know, a victim of drinking and dating. <laughs> Nothing wrong with drinking. Well, clearly, because you've been drinking since noon. No problem dating. You've been dating. She's been doing more than dating, if you know what I mean. And by that, I mean she's been engaging in unprotective, penetrative, vaginal intercourse. I don't even know who the father is. <laughs> oh, I'll have another rum punch. I'm drinking for two. Mixing Henny with the Sprite while I'm drinking and driving. No and then Ludacris talks about mixing Hennessy and Sprite while drinking and driving. Way to promote drinking and driving there, buddy. I'm from the soup. We do our driving test drunk. When I'm driving, I'm usually sipping on mouthwash. The bubbles go straight to the brain. And then he's in his, like, private booth that's a boxing ring. You know, hopefully he'll get punched in the face soon. Oh, my God, look at teeth. I'd sleep with her. Only if I drank half a 26er Crown Royal, six Canadian, and you'd have to pay me $250. Mind you, you'd have to splint my penis with a popsicle stick. I love that T-Pain is his guardian angel. I find that, <laughs> I find that disturbing. If Whoopi Goldberg and Flavor Flav had a kid, it would be T-Pain. So then it's the next morning, Ludacris wakes up next to Worf from Star Trek, the next generation. And what's wrong with her having a little bit of facial hair? So what? We all forget to shave every once in a while. That's why my nickname was Chewbacca in university. If I woke up next to Worf, I'd be like, hey, Worf, Episode 219, Star Trek TNG. How did you guys shift the space-time continuum when you were battling the Borg? I would see Luda there with his beer goggles on, and if you don't know what they are, then you're pretty. <laughs> that's, that's how that works. I feel bad for a lot of the women in this video. Because you know that big girl was like, oh my god, I get to be in a Ludacris video? Woo! Oh, what? I'm the before? That never happened to me. <laughs> Mainly because I don't go out. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes those bigger girls are the best sex you'll ever have because they don't know when they're gonna get it next. So they give it all. Listen to me, everybody. My message is this. Take big girls home. We are super fun. I got it. We do, we do all sorts of stuff. You know what I mean? It's not aerobic or anything. We won't let you watch. Are there snacks? Sadly, after 15 drinks, T-Pain still looks like that. T-Pain, you, you shouldn't, shouldn't be picky. Talk about the pot calling the kettle hideously ugly. People too picky these days, damn it. Too tall, too short, too fat, too skinny. Have a couple of drinks and quit discriminating. See, the lesson, kids, is that no matter how ugly you are, there's always going to be someone drunk enough to think you're hot. I think that's nice, don't you? Boomer. Look, guys, I don't work out five days a week to bang a Maybe I shouldn't ask Boomer. My verdict for this video is... I send it to you to having to sleep with T-Pain. Take that. I sentenced T-Pain to turn off the damn auto-tune already. Everybody knows it died in 2007. Let it die. Luda, call me. Seriously. Honest. We would have fun. <laughs> Ludacris, yep, sentenced to have 10 more drinks of T-Pain's love juice.